What's going on guys? I'm Brian and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the mod mic wireless. It's going to be a wireless modular, hence the name microphone that you can literally step on to any pair of headphones that you decide to. We're going to talk about the ins and outs of it. We're going to, we're going to do some testing on it. We're going to show you what it sounds like. And the goal is to help you guys figure out if it's worth the hefty price tag of $120. Now for transparency and line audio did send this microphone out to me for review, but as you guys all know, this will not impact my review in any way. All right. So let's start by talking about what comes with the mod mic wireless in the box. So we're going to get a heavy duty carrying case. You're going to get the mod mic wireless and it's pre-installed windscreen. You're going to get a micro USB charging cable, a USB extension cable, along with an adhesive anchor. So you can just kind of anchor it to your desk and it won't move around. You're going to get a USB receiver. You're going to get two magnetic clasps and two replacement adhesive pads. The clasps are going to be for two different pair of headphones. So you can swap the microphone from headphones to headphones if you have, again, multiple pairs. And then you're going to also get an alcohol cleaning pad and you're going to get documentation as well. Design wise, the microphone is going to be pretty straightforward. This thing is basically going to be all plastic. This is all plastic. It does feel a little cheap, but um, it's it's okay. It's not bad. It, it's lightweight. That's what their goal is. That's what they wanted. But I would highly recommend if you're going to be carrying this around, taking this places, make sure you're carrying it in this guy right here in the bag, because you know, if something heavy falls on this thing, it will surely break it. At the base, we're going to have our main button, which is going to turn the microphone on or off. Basically, if you press it once, like I just did, it's going to turn it on. If you do a medium press, which is like two to three seconds, it's going to turn it off. And if you press it for longer than that, it is going to put it into sync mode. It's also, if you press it once, it's going to mute. And then that's basically just about everything that you can do with the button. There's going to be three LED indicators on this, and it's going to match the USB receiver that's going to be plugged into your computer. So you want to make sure the USB receiver is in a spot that you can see, because then you can see what's going on with your mod mic. If you have it muted or if you're, you're charging it and you want to see if it's fully charged, that kind of stuff is going to be really important again with the USB receiver as well as it's going to be showing on this. So anyways, LED indicator wise, you're going to have a blue one. If it's solid, that means it's connected. If it's slowly flashing, that means it is not connected. If it's rapidly flashing, that means you have it in sync mode. The yellow one is going to be your charging indicator. If it's solid, that means it's fully charged. If it's slowly flashing yellow, then that's going to mean you are charging. And then red is just going to be mute and not mute. So if it's red, it's muted. If it's not red, it's not muted. And again, the USB receiver is going to sync with this. And so you want to make sure you have it in a spot that you can see so you can, you know, so you know whether or not it's muted or if it's charging or whatever the case might be. Looking towards the bottom of the actual base, you're going to have your charging port. This is micro USB. I kind of wish it was USB C, but this was released back in 2018. So, you know, I can't get too mad about it because it's 18 yes the USB-C was becoming common but it wasn't like super 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 common like it is today and then on the very back we're gonna have our metal clasp which is gonna have two sides to it one that's gonna be attached you know actually in the microphone itself and then one's gonna be attached to your headphones moving down the microphone we're gonna have our arm which is gonna have like a rubber coating and it's very 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 flexible you can see you can change it to whatever you know shape that you want and then going even further down you're gonna have your base of your capsule and it's gonna have a switch right here for omnidirectional mode or unidirectional mode um, and they both sound very very different and we'll get into that more in a minute as well but omni is basically a larger frequency range it's going to have a little bit better quality sound but it's not going to be great for noisy environments while uni on the other hand is going to have a smaller frequency range it's going to have decent sound quality and then it's going to be much better for noisy environments or it's supposed to be much better for noisy environments then at the very top we're going to have our capsule and it's going to be covered by a windscreen this windscreen is removable so if you want to remove it for a different one or if it rips or whatever happens to it you can replace it if you want be careful if you do decide to remove this and it's not ripped because because you know you can definitely accidentally rip it pretty easily because it is a windscreen so windscreens are typically pretty pretty fragile so when it comes down to installation installation is gonna be super easy with this antline auto is gonna recommend to put on your right ear if you put on your right ear the charging port's gonna be down so it's gonna be easy to charge while you're using it if it's on the left ear it's gonna be up and it's gonna be really kind of weird to use it so you're gonna put both the metal clasps together like so you're going to clean the surface that you want with an alcohol the alcohol prep pad that comes with it if you don't have that you can use isopropyl alcohol that you have around the house with like a, a napkin or a, you know a paper towel or whatever just wipe it down let it dry and then you're going to remove the little plastic cover on the adhesive and you're just going to push down on it on the headphones obviously making sure this lines up with your mouth let it sit for about a minute or so while you're pushing it down and then antline audio recommends that you let it adhere for an hour overnight if you can as for non-audio performance well this thing is just excellent across the board so battery life is is a big thing to talk about when it comes to that and it's rated for 12 hours and i found that i got between three and four sessions i think it was for and i usually play games for about three to four hours with my buddies when i'm doing you know when we're playing our gaming 
gaming sessions or whatever. It didn't die on me. I ended up just plugging it in because I was like, this thing needs to be plugged in because it's gonna die eventually and I don't want it to die next time I'm playing. So it was perfectly fine. As for rain, I was able to walk through my entire house. It's, I have a 2,400 square foot by level um, and I was able to walk through a whole house without any drops or any connectivity issue or any sound issue either. So that's super awesome as well. And so with that said, that kind of just leaves audio quality. How does this actually sound? So I'm gonna do a bunch of testing for you guys um, just individually with this as well as comparing it to some other microphones I have. So I'm gonna compare it to my shotgun microphone up here. I'm gonna compare it to my USB connector microphone I usually have on my computer and that I use when I'm usually gaming with my buddies on Discord. And then I'm gonna also compare it to the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, which is a $100 pair of wireless headphones. So you can have a good idea of kind of like how this $120 wireless microphone stacks up against all these different types of competition and hopefully that gives you a good idea of you know whether or not this is going to be worth 120 dollars so we'll go ahead and jump to my computer we'll do the audio testing i just mentioned and then we'll talk about how i feel about the actual audio that comes out of this microphone all right so we're now at my desk and we're gonna do some audio testing for you guys we're gonna do it on both omni and unidirectional modes so you can get an idea of what this microphone sounds like in either mode and we're gonna be doing typing testing we're gonna do plosive testing and then we're gonna compare it to the other microphones that i have kind of surrounding me which is my road video mic ntg the k678 um, from fine fine as well as this guy right here which is the rocket elo 7.1 air the one that goes on this side right here because this is the the 7.1 air headset so i'm gonna be going back and forth throughout the testing so i'll do omni then i'll do uni throughout the entire testing um, until we get to the comparison and then i'll do omni compared to everything and then i'll do uni compared to everything as well so with all that said let's get started i am now demonstrating what the microphone sounds like while typing on my keyboard with linear Titan optical switches. I am now demonstrating what the microphone sounds like while typing on my keyboard with linear Titan optical switches. This is what it sounds like. I'm now gonna do some quick plosive testing. Please borrow pancakes. 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 I am now speaking into the mod mic wireless to compare it to the Fine Fine K678, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as my Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking to the Fine Fine K678 to compare it to the mod mic wireless, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the mod mic wireless to compare it to the Fine Fine K678, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as my Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air microphone to compare it to the mod mic wireless, the Fine Fine K678, and the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the mod mic wireless to compare it to the Fine Fine K678, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as my Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the Rode Video Mic NTG to compare it to the Mod Mic Wireless, the Fine Fine K678, and the Rocket Elo 7.1. Air. I am now speaking into the Mod Mic Wireless to compare it to the Fine Fine K678, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking to the Fine Fine K678 to compare it to the Mod Mic Wireless, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the Mod Mic Wireless to compare it to the Fine Fine K678, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air microphone to compare it to the Mod Mic Wireless, the Fine Fine K678, and the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the Mod Mic Wireless to compare it to the Fine Fine K678, the Rocket Elo 7.1 Air, as well as the Rode Video Mic NTG. I am now speaking into the Rode Video Mic NTG to compare it to the Mod Mic Wireless, the Fine Fine K678, and the Rocket Elo 7.1. 
air all right so the audio quality across the board is going to be pretty solid with this microphone as you guys just heard from my testing the unidirectional mode does feel a bit cloudy for me it's really kind of like suffocated a little bit and doesn't provide a ton of noise cancellation in my personal opinion but honestly compared to like even the onboard microphone of the elo 7.1 air i think it's light years ahead of where the elo 7.1 air is so this can be a lot better than the majority of cheap gaming headsets as for the omnidirectional mode i think that this is the way to go for the microphone and the audio is super crisp and it's nearly as good as the k678 which is the wired usb condenser microphone i totally get that the k678 is a budget microphone but i still think that that microphone has great audio and so i think it speaks very highly of what the mod mic wireless is able to do in just a small package as well as while being wireless the last thing worth mentioning about the audio quality is, is going to be the noise rejection in general both modes have a hard time rejecting noise from my rocket vulcan tkl pro which is a keyboard with linear titan optical switches these switches aren't the absolute quietest of switches that i've ever used but they certainly aren't that loud either so that's you know something to think about as well and so i like the microphone i love the idea of a good quality completely wireless microphone without a boom arm or cables i love the idea that this can be slapped onto whatever pair of headphones I decide I want to put them on and I love that this thing has great battery life and absolutely killer range if you're a casual gamer or streamer that doesn't need great noise cancellation to block out all the clicks from your keyboard and you're okay with dropping the $120 on this microphone then I'd say yes go for it it's a great microphone and I think that you'll love this as much as I do I plan on removing my actual microphone from my desk and just using this full time because again for what I use it for for when I'm playing with my buddies I don't need anything better than this and the audio quality is is absolutely stunning especially since being as it is wireless thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys found it useful helpful whatever please give it a thumbs up if you loved it and you want more content just like this be sure to subscribe and don't forget to drop any questions you guys might have in the comments below or you can join our community discord and ask them there as well it's completely free and there's a lot of people there that want to help you guys i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one